In our health alert tonight, a Seattle woman is dead after a brain eating amoeba entered her body. Yeah, doctors think she got infected by doing something at home, typically thought to keep your sinuses healthy. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nanny, joins us now to talk about this neti pot nightmare. Dr. Nanny, how did this happen? You know, this this is a tragedy. This 69 year old woman from Seattle was looking for relief from a chronic sinus infection. Her doctor told her to rinse her sinuses twice a day, which she did using a neti pot and filtered tap water. After a month, she developed a red rash the size of a, a quarter on her nose. Now, ointments didn't clear it up and biopsies were not conclusive. A year later, the woman had a seizure and a CAT scan found a lesion on her brain. Now, unfortunately, surgery and a drug to fight the infection failed. Frankly, it was the last thing I had in my mind when I went in to operate on what I thought was a typical brain tumor. I was pretty much shocked because I'd never seen that before. This is so rare, there's only been about 200 cases ever. And the test found the woman had died from Balamuthia mandr mandrillaris, a type of amoeba that lives in soil and possibly in water as well. So you're saying this amoeba traveled from her nose to her brain? And we have the Balamuthia mandrillus is known to travel to the brain. It's very deadly with few people surviving this type of infection. And we don't know a whole lot about how this is picked up, but I assume it enters the body by getting in your mouth, breathing it in, or via skin wounds or cuts. But this amoeba is extremely rare. Only 200 cases of, of Balamuthia infection have been diagnosed worldwide, with 70 of those cases being right here in the United States. All right, doctor. So from my understanding, you're not supposed to be using tap water in any pot. Is there reason why. Yeah, Alan, that's really correct. There's nothing wrong with neti pots, but you have to use them correctly. And you should not use tap water because it's not adequately filtered or treated. And that means that bacteria and amoebas can live in tap water and once in your nose can potentially cause very serious and deadly infections. So please use distilled or sterile water, which you can buy at the grocery store. Or you can boil tap water for five to 10 minutes and then let it cool before using. There are also special filters that say they remove these types of germs. So really important. The, the advice is that talk to your doctor and make sure you follow the directions because people say, hey, you know what, it's no big deal, but it can lead to a tragedy. Dr. Nady, it sounds like something so simple, but really could be tragic. Good advice Absolutely. there. Thank, Thank you. you. Of course, if you have any questions or health concerns for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at AskDrNandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to tune in this Sunday at 1 p.m. for an all-new Dr. Nandy show. This week, he'll be discussing the new age of parenting and what you and we can do to raise healthy, well-balanced children.